Hi, I'm David Delanave, I'm the owner of Movement Minneapolis. I'm going to teach you how to use range of motion as a biofeedback test to guide your exercise. You can use biofeedback testing to intelligently choose movements, tools, loads, and varied positions. Let's get started. For today's demonstration, I'll be using the toe touch range of motion. You can use any range of motion in your body that you can detect a difference, but I like to use the toe touch, so I'll be using that. To perform the test, you want to do it the same every single time, best you can. Put your feet together the same way, put your hands on your thighs, and slowly bend forward, stopping at the first sign of tension anywhere in your body. It's very important that you stop when you first detect tension. You don't want to go to the end range of motion. For me, this looks like this. I notice tension just at the top of my shoes, so that's my baseline range of motion and my starting point for today. For today's demonstration and experiment, I chose the deadlift as the movement of choice. So the first thing I need to do is test the deadlift movement and see if it tests well for me today. I already took my base range of motion, so I, now I need to do a deadlift. Done a deadlift movement, now I'm going to check my range of motion again. As you can see, I got an increase in my range of motion, which means the deadlift is a go today. So to test my tool for the deadlift, I've got a kettlebell and a barbell of the same weight. First a kettlebell rep. Again, I assess my range of motion. Just to my toes. Next I'll test the barbell deadlift. And again, assess my range of motion. That time I got my knuckles to the floor. Since that's the best range of motion, I'd be barbell deadlifting today. Then I'm going to test my deadlift weight for the day. The actual weight that I test would be dictated by my programming and my previous workout history, but today I just loaded a demonstration weight up. Normally I wouldn't have to start this low in my testing and just jump up to my workout numbers. And again, in the exact same way, I assess my range of motion. This time my knuckles are all the way to the floor, so more weight is obviously good. Finally, I test out a couple varied positions to see if I can find something better for the day. Testing allows you to find something that might be better for your body than a conventional stance. For today, I'll try a B-stance deadlift, which is a deadlift with one foot slightly behind the other. And check my range of motion. My fingertips to my toes on that one. Next, I'll try a duck stance deadlift with both feet externally rotated. And again, check my range of motion. That time, I got my first knuckle on the ground. I could do both of those because they're better than my baseline range of motion, but I still got the best range of motion for my conventional stance, so I'd stick with that for today. As you can see, the testing gives us more information about what is good and bad for our body in a real-time manner. To reiterate, the testing just tells you how your body responds to movement. You don't have to use the range of motion test that correlates with the movement you're testing. Today, I could have used a side arm raise that looks like this, and I would have gotten the exact same result. So implement this testing in your training today. If you'll simply do what tests the best, you'll make more progress, have fewer injuries, and maybe even have more fun training.